Imagine leaping up a skyscraper like Spider-Man, sounds insane right? But nature already solved wall walking, meet the gecko. Under its toe is a forest of microscopic hairs called setae, and at the tip, even tinier spatulae. These spatulae make near-atomic contact with surfaces, the result, van der Waals forces, tiny electromagnetic attractions that add up across millions of contact points. That's how a gecko's toe can stick and unstick instantly. Now look at cockroaches, they climb too, but with a different toolkit, hooked claws for rough surfaces, sticky pads and sometimes secreted fluid for smooth ones, they rely more on shape and a little glue, not primarily van der Waals. Could we do it? Let's estimate. An average adult's body surface area is about 1.8 square meters. The frontal area you could press flat to a wall is much less, roughly 4 tenths to 6 tenths of a square meter for an extreme spread. Even if we matched gecko adhesive strength per area, we'd need engineered microstructures across that whole contact patch, not something skin can do naturally. Engineers build gecko-inspired tape and microfibrillar adhesives that mimic setai. Combined with clever body harnesses or suction systems, humans can be helped to walk walls, but it's engineering, not biology. So, Spider-Man isn't alive yet, but nature and nanotech together make wall-walking plausible, with machines, not with bare hands.